how are you all doing on this dark and drizzly day? My name is Alex and welcome to TechFly. More specifically, welcome to part four of our ultimate Ubiquiti network install with wireless AC access points, cameras, server rack. We've done it all. This episode is about this outhouse. And I, well, I've already wired it up. Uh, essentially in the B-roll sequence you've just seen, we've now got cameras up here. We've got a CPE that is over here bringing the internet to the outhouse from a little sender that's up in the loft that we configured in episode one. All the way over here, there's also Wi-Fi for, well, when you're out here and you want to be on your iPad and control the Sonos unit. Now, like I always say at the start of these episodes, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you really, really need to because all of the stuff that we have just put out here, like the access point, the CPE that's bringing the internet in and the CCTV system and this little nano switch that's over here on the wall, well, it was all configured over in episode one. So all I've had to do on the little B-roll sequences, put it all together. Now, this switch is really cool because it also gives you more PoE ports, which go off to the access point and the CPE that's bringing in the internet and as well as the camera. Now, on the other side of the PoE port, we've obviously got a LAN port, which I've gone ahead and plugged into this Sonos unit, which is powering a couple of speakers outside. So this whole place is essentially a kit out. What more could you need out here? Wi-Fi, speakers, security, ubiquity. I suppose that's what the company's all about, isn't it? So if you guys and girls have been good children, boys and girls, you'll have watched episodes one, two, and three, and you'll have noticed that we've installed a variety of cameras from Ubiquiti that all work with the Ubiquiti Protect sort of ecosystem with the hard drive upstairs that's recording all of the cameras. We've installed the G4 Pro, which is a 4K camera. We've installed the G3 Pro, which is a 1080p camera that has features like optical zoom. And we've also just installed the G3 out there, which is a 1080p camera that doesn't have features like optical zoom. Zoom. This right here is the UVC G3 Micro. It doesn't need PoE to power it. There's actually numerous ways to mount this thing. Now, the way this camera essentially works is really, really interesting. It has this magnetic ball on the back, and then you have this, and then that sticks to it. And then, depending on what way you want to power it, either with the power cable or the PoE injector, this then, well, there's a lot of magnets here, magnetizes onto the back of there, and then that can go on things like the mount, or on a sticky mount, which is how I'm gonna do this to leave like a small footprint. But like I say, this is absolutely awesome. Okay, so for as long as I can remember, in the entryway in this house, sat on this console table, there's been an old school Logitech camera. Now, yeah, these cameras are all great. They're wireless, you plug them in, they work, but you have to pay a monthly subscription to have a sort of backup of what's being recorded. And plus the fact it's being recorded outside your house on a server that you have no idea where it's being recorded to or from, which is why I like this system from Ubiquiti because it's all being recorded in-house. It's your data and it's all in one place and there's no monthly subscription fee. So whilst I am in the Unify Protect application and I've just added the hallway camera, I'm gonna go ahead and add the outside camera that we've just installed. There it is. And we've got our back garden camera, the driveway camera, the hallway camera, the kitchen camera, you guys can see the raw quality of them there. They're absolutely awesome. And then soon, well, when it's finished updating, the back garden camera. So guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. Blood, sweat and tears later, four episodes on Tech Flow later, we're finally finished. Everything is installed. We've completed what we wanted to do. Well, what did we want to do? So our original plan, as you lot know, was to take everything out of my big Goliath of the server rack, which is over here, which we've now done. I have so much more space in my actual networking rack for my things, which is so, 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 so refreshing. There's actual breathing space for all of my equipment in here, which is for all of my business stuff. And if you guys do want to see a tour of this, we have one linked in the description and on the channel. Now, honestly, guys, as much as I love networking, Working and things like that of that nature. I am so, so glad this series is over because it is literally, like I said earlier, it's been blood, sweat and tears. Welcome to the new server rack. It's now uh, in here and it has absolutely everything to do with this house in. It's kind of neat and messy at the same time. It's my style. I like it like this. Okay, so up here at the top, we have a PDU. Now this essentially takes power from the wall and then gives us some sockets in here that we can connect all of our equipment to, as you can see, I have done. So this is the USG or the USG Pro. This 
this is our router in our situation in this house. It's doing all of the routing, DHCP, all of that jazz. And then we have our patch panel, which goes off to all of our access points cameras, the point-to-point -point link down the end of the garden, and then under here we have the Unify 150 watt 16 port switch which is doing all of our switching. Under here we have the cloud key which is managing all of our access points and recording all of the cameras with a one terabyte hard drive, a skybox next to it, and then a Sonos, both for media consumption. They go off to TVs and speakers in the house. Okay, so this house is essentially an L shape. So I've worked out that three access points give me pretty much 5G coverage in every single room, including the garage and also out in the garden because of that mesh AP we have out there on the outhouse. But in here, we have the Nano HD. It's hidden actually behind a wardrobe over there. Now swiftly moving on to location number two or access point number two. This is providing coverage to the right hand side of the house via an in-wall pro access point that's up here. Now I really, really like this access point simply because it has Ethernet ports or Ethernet ports on the bottom of it. So you can plug in a different device into the access point. We have a Sky Q box here plugged into it in the UK and it is receiving, well, internet access through the access point, which is also giving us Wi-Fi. Okay, so guys, this is probably the funnest access point that I've ever installed because it's doing a hell of a lot more than just being an access point. One of the Ethernet ports is powering this Sonos unit. So we've got backhaul here for the Wi-Fi and for the camera and for the Sonos, all via the one access point, giving Wi-Fi coverage to this portion of the house. Now, that's three access points done. Oh, no, I forgot one. We have an access point outside, which we installed at the start of the video. Yeah, there's four. Four access points. Now we need to go onto the CCTV cameras. G3 Micro is down here. We've just installed this. This is the little wireless baby camera that has all the different mounting options. I love it that it's simply just stuck on the wall here. It is so, so, so tiny. Look, here's some AirPods. It's tiny, this little thing. So you join me here now on the driveway, which is being overwatched by the G3 Pro with optical zoom turned on. The reason why I've used this camera here is because it does have optical zoom. The camera's mounted quite high, so you can actually zoom in and still maintain full 1080p quality. And now you're joining me here in the back garden, which is being overwatched by the glorious G4 Pro camera. Now this is a 4K security camera from Ubiquiti. It has an awesome LED ring, a link down to here, CCTV and Wi-Fi out here too. I think this is the ultimate network setup complete and I'm really sad to say that because I've really really enjoyed this and if you guys have too and you want us to do more stuff or check out more gear then please let us know with a comment down below or a like rating. But for now my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, thanks to Ubiquiti for sending out all the gear here and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.